Good morning, Andrea. There were some moderate losses for Asian stocks today, really not much investor optimism with debt concerns looming in Europe. We watched five stocks fall today for every three that rose on the MSCI Asia Pacific Index. The Shanghai Composite falling the most in two weeks, stalling after rising to a 14-month high back in August. The same decline recorded today in Hong Kong for the Hang Seng. All but nine of its 43 companies in the benchmark index were down. Li and Feng, which supplies Walmart, reported a lower than expected 2009 profit. China Unicom, the number two mobile phone company in China, also recording the second biggest decline. Now, China Unicom also making some news today because of its decision to sever ties with the world's internet giant. This is just days after Google announced that it would stop censoring websites in China, the country's second largest mobile phone operator, again, as I mentioned, announcing it will not be using the search engine Google on its new handsets. So China. Google's Chinese rival, Baidu. GoDaddy, the world's largest registrar of domain names, also announcing it's refusing to offer new sites, identities in China. The reason, the company says, increased internet spying on the citizens by the government. And this week, we shares hitting an 18-month high there in London. Today, the company's Sydney traded shares also up as well. And we should point out Morgan Stanley raising its 2010-2012 earnings forecast by as much as 14 percent. Andrew, that is a wrap of the day in business here from Asia. Back to you there in London. Melissa, thank you.